All right, hi, I'm Alex. I'm here with Tommy Kratz, Trip Scheidel, both on the baseball team. Um, all right, guys, uh, Trip runs winter track for uh, indoor track. Uh, plus, he's the starting second baseman for the varsity team. Tommy, you're in white right field batting uh, anywhere one through four in the lineup. All right, you guys made packs last year, second round of districts. What are your goals for this season? Um, I would definitely say the first goal is win the pack. Uh, last year, you know, big win over PJP in the semifinal. We really thought we had it rolling. Um, you know, face a really tough team yeah. in Phoenixville and, you know, loss, heartbreaker. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, all the returners coming back, all the guys who came out and supported who are now on the varsity roster, you know, that just left a sour taste in everybody's mouth. And I think our goal, first goal this year is to get back there first and foremost, and then obviously try to make a little run in districts, maybe qualify for states, but... I definitely think the goal is win the pack. Absolutely. I'm the same way. Um, we should really be a really good team. Yeah. Um, got some guys coming from JV last year that were great players. They could have been playing on mm-hmm. a lot of varsity teams. And then the returners we have are some great guys, so we should be really good. Uh, all right. I, I want to turn uh, over to the Lansdale Catholic, your first game yesterday. Uh, tied 4-4 going into the bottom of the seventh, a chance to walk it off. And uh, Tommy Kratz steps up to plate to start it off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I said to Spiewak before the at bat, I go, Spi, I'm going yard here. And he <laughs> He's goes, got no juice. He's got no juice. <laughs> he goes, All right, just let the guys behind you do your thing. Just get on base. I'm like, I'm going yard. Well, didn't go yard. I hit it well, uh, got a double out of it, and I was just happy to get on base yeah. and let the guys behind me do their thing, you know? Yeah, and start things up. All right. Um, so then uh, eventually Casey Humes comes up, and uh, who's still second? Uh, that was Nick Remish. Nick, Nick Remish, single, right. He gets a second. single, steals second, and their coach starts complaining. The ump says he stole second, and then they intentionally walk Casey to set back up the double play, and that brings up you, Trip. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm watching this unfold. I see Nick steal second, and, you know, my first thought's like, you know, Casey's just got to put a ball in play mm-hmm. here, get Tommy in from third. Tommy's fast. He's, right. you know, he's going to score something in play, especially past the infielders. Ball game, you know, we're celebrating. Yeah, but uh, I, you know, I hear the coach go. We're gonna intentionally walk him. I was already a little pissed off. I was cold. <laughs> I was very cold. And uh, LC is definitely a team that we think we should play better against. Um, so I was already, you know, a little mad about that. And then the intentional walk, even as you know, makes sense situationally. It just pissed me off. And um, <laughs> you know, getting up throwing me a pit, the pitch that I was looking for, just to get it up in the air to left field. Let our win carry it out there and uh, get Tommy home from third base. Right. And, and Tommy, for you to go from first to third after Nick gets that single, that was pretty big too. Um, all right, so uh, as you talked about that Phoenixville game last year um, in, what was it, 13 innings. Um, how did you guys think the student section came out for that one? Awesome. It, it was it, tremendous. It was it was really something special to play in front of our school and, and our tribe like that. Um, it, it really got us guys pumped up and – it, it sucked to lose that way, but honestly, it was a special moment for us last year playing in front of all those guys, and uh, we're going to be back there next, this year, so we're going to want you guys back <laughs> again. Uh, and then you guys played PJP in the first round. They were talking a lot. 10 nothing was the final, or was it 11-1? Uh, I think it was at, it was like it was like 12-2 or 12 okay, yeah, something, yeah, there you go. something like that. Uh, so you run-ruled them right there. How satisfying was that one? That... Um, that might have been one of the more satisfying wins of the year, especially our regular season game against them on our field. You know, they take in extras after, you know, a wild game. A lot of weird stuff happens. Uh, you know, they're talking a lot. And um, I think that loss earlier in the year was kind of a turning point for our season where we really kind of bared down. And we're like, all right, we're a good team, but, you know, we're not invincible. And we just got to go out and, you know, play the best baseball we can every day. Um and then, you know, just going out, basically just running them off the field in that round while, you know, they're saying some very questionable things to some of our better players. It's, yeah. um, it, it was definitely a really good feeling. Uh, who's the guys on the in the dugout that keep the team fired up? Uh, I mean, I you especially shout out Daz, uh, Anthony Dazio. Yeah. Definitely brings, brings a great vibe. Will Goddard, you know, Chally, Rem, you know, they all – Keep it up, Tommy, Mr. Positive over here, you know, keeping the guys up, Casey Humes, Ben Clark, 
uh, you know, the Carmine Mara. I mean, everybody really. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much the entire roster just, you know, we're here to have fun. Mm -hmm. We get to play a kids' game every day and play yeah. some baseball. So uh, we also got to give a special shout out to Spiewak. He definitely brings <laughs> the vibe up a lot. All right, you guys lost, lost excuse me, six seniors last uh, season. Who are some guys that you'll think step up? Well, Nick Remish coming from LaSalle, mm -hmm. um, he's going to be a guy for us. <laughs> um, he can swing it. He can play field. Um, we got – who else we got? We got Casey Behan. Casey Behan. Casey um, Behan. He was one of those guys, like I said earlier, he – on any other varsity team, he's – as a junior, he's playing varsity. But last year he got robbed, and he's going to be a big guy mm -hmm. for us this year. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, those two, we got Bryce Lawson and Carmine Marrow coming in bringing depth to the middle and field, both really slick fielders. Uh, not really a call-up, but kind of is. Liam Greenberg, you know, came up into last year just so fast. And um, he's such a good defender. And then uh, definitely some arms coming up. Chris Sander, Colin Carr. Will Sanders. I mean, Will. Will wow. Wow. Will Christian. Wow. Will, wow. Christian. Will Christian. Will, I'm sorry for that. Will Christian. <laughs> We actually got his first varsity double on Monday. Yeah. Uh, that was, you know, those those three bring us some lefty arms. Seeing that we had no lefties last season, um, you know, really brings a, a new element to our team. And when a pitcher is struggling out on the mound, like we did see uh, for some of yesterday, and not in Tommy's case, but uh, what do you guys do Come in, in a mound visit? What are you guys doing to, to keep him energized? You know, I'm just saying, let's let's just get a strike. The defense is going to make the plays. Mm -hmm. Um as a pitcher, really just throw strikes so your defense isn't sitting out there. Um, as long as the ball's in play and it's not getting mashed, right. we're gonna we're gonna make the plays. We're a really good defensive team, so just gotta throw strikes. That's the name of the game, baby. What games are you looking forward to the most this year? Uh, excuse me, Phoenixville is on the second of April. Springford and Pottstown are not until later <coughs> in May. Um. Well, a quick side stuff for Pottstown. It's not Bobby Shant's day, so <laughs> it's not as important. Um, but Is that what's your senior day? Uh, that that's that's my yeah. senior day. So you know that'll be a cool one to play. Um, but Phoenixville first and foremost, always our pack opener. Um, I think since the schedule came out, a lot of guys have had that game circled on their calendar. Just kind of like this is the game to win. You yeah. know, set the tone. Get our get back because they got against us last year. We won a really tight one against them early in the year last year. They got us back when it really mattered. So, you know, now we're trying to get them back. Uh, obviously, the Spring Ford games, especially the night game there. Mm -hmm. um, Boyer Town, just because always such a heated rivalry, uh, especially because I think their coach came back and he's not a fan of us. And, um, <laughs> he got kicked out over here last year. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that was, that was an interesting one. And then OJR mm -hmm. is another game that always ends. Really heated. Um, so all those are night games. Uh, what's the difference night and day? It's a question for you, Tom. Yeah, well, I mean, playing in the lights, first of all, it's, it's tough to see the ball sometimes. Yeah. Um, it can get stuck in the clouds. There's there's a lot of aspects that go into it. but More energy? I night? was just going to say that. In the, in, in the night games, I feel like we're always amped up. You kind of wait, go home, and you're just thinking about the game all night and – as a team, we really we get on that bus, we get jamming, and we're we're always ready to go in those night games. Because here we don't have the uh, we Luxury don't get to play. Yeah, nights. we don't get to play with the lights here. But when we when we get to go Spring Forward, Board Town, OJR, it, it, we really get fired up. Uh, you guys have a marathon game every year uh, where you play some fun games, player burst, or excuse me, parent game as well. What's your favorite memory from last year? Uh, from team last Canada. Year. From last season, uh, would definitely be my team, Team Canada, taking home the dub for Coach Sperling. Shout out. You still owe me ketchup chips. Um, that, that was really cool. You know, me and me and Chap taking home the MVP of that, uh, winning for second year in a row, and just, just some good memories. Like, you know, it's always some fun, lighthearted baseball. Uh, and it's a nice little break for us, you mm -hmm. know, especially as, you know, we're getting into the really heat of our season to just take a step back and, you know, look at baseball from a little bit of a different perspective. And then uh, for you guys that don't know what it is, it's a big fundraiser where we play 100 innings of baseball, and each inning we raise a certain amount of money. But like I said, it's a lot of baseball, but it's really fun. We get we kind of mismatch teams. We we get drafted by the coaches. and It's by it's by the seniors. Or sorry, my, my fault. By the You're senior my first captains. Pick. You're my first pick. Let's go. <laughs> 
But um, we we make we make uh, uniforms, and it, it's a really fun day. All right, and then you watch Kyle Feaster chop it up in the parent game. What were you thinking there? I think he hit a, a couple home runs. Um, Feaster's washed. <laughs> uh, he he still talks about his pack chip that he won ten years ago here. Um, that you know that's the highlight of his life, and I don't think he's done anything significant since then. But I do love you, Feaster. You are my boy. Uh, you guys go on a fun Florida trip uh, as well. Some favorite memories from that. Um, I went, this is definitely a question for Tommy yeah, to start. So I, I went my freshman year. Um, you know, being a freshman, <laughs> I was just getting to bold with some of the yeah. seniors and juniors. And I would say a lot of pranks. We, we pulled some good pranks, but um, a, a lot of great memories. We, um, what's it called? We, we do a, a green and white game every year where we get split up evenly and we play green versus white, obviously. Yeah. And then. The losing team, my freshman year, had to carry the other team's luggage home. <laughs> so, I mean, to the airport yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that was a great memory. And then just going through the through the practices, having some fun in the warm weather, just great, great times. You? Yeah, so, uh, you know, Tommy was a dog. I didn't get to go that year. Uh, so I was on the Myrtle trip last year. Uh, like Tommy said, definitely a ton of pranks. That was – um. I think we both got it pretty bad. <laughs> uh, me being a first year varsity guy, Tommy just being the younger guy on the team, you know, we definitely got the pranks pretty bad. Um, but other than that, you know, definitely the games at Myrtle Beach. You know, does Spiewak play along? Uh, Spiewak does not know the extent <laughs> of any of these pranks. Um, he just knows they happen. Yeah. Um, you know, definitely our first two games down there, both just that actually counted our schedule, were just electric. You know, we win a big one over a solid school from up in northern PA and then we take a you know we take a game from a really good team down in Maryland um our second game uh and then the practices the green and white game you know I lost the green and white game so uh Feaster made me go run in the ocean at one in the morning with the rest of the guys from my team and Tommy actually laid me out trying to get into the ocean it must be fun, though, going down and, and getting out of this weather here um all right so just to finish up here uh you guys uh, playing games at, at Potsdam last year. Remember Bobby Shan's day? I think you mentioned it earlier. How cool was that? Man, it, it's awesome. Um, us, us boys, we really get really get excited. Um, Bobby Shantz being the MVP back in the day. Guys, he, he, he's, st- he's still going. He's, what is he, 99, he's, 96? He is 98 years old. <laughs> still, uh, still gets out, signs autographs, shows it's Bobby Shantz day. Um, Tommy, I have a question for you. Do you remember when Bobby won the MVP? What year was it? I'm gonna say uh, it was in '57. Early, earlier '50s. He was like an oh, all-star that, in '57. That was an absolute guess. So I'll take uh, it. It was, 50, <laughs> it was '52. It's not there you go. Guess. But uh, yeah, no, by chance, definitely kind of um, I'd say what a, a legend around <laughs> here. Yeah. Uh, also, a little bit of a team joke. Um, but yeah, that's. It was definitely a really cool experience playing somebody in front of someone who had been to the highest level. All right. Good luck, guys. Uh, Good luck on the season. Thanks for joining us, and uh, have a great year. Thank you. Thank you.